Hi, my name is Jim Costa. And I'm a video production, photography, and technology expert. And I'm here to help seniors learn to use technology to make their lives easier. By the time this video is done, you'll know exactly step-by-step step, how to set up your own free email account. I know that for a lot of older people, technology can be a little scary because it seems like it'd be too hard to learn or maybe you don't need it or it's just for young people or it's too expensive. But have no fear, that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. Before you know it, you'll be a tech savvy senior. Having your own email address is a great way to keep in touch with family and friends. And having an email address is needed to order things online or set up social media accounts and much more. So it's a great place to begin. Best of all, there are plenty of accounts you can set up that are completely free. And these include Gmail, Outlook Mail, AOL Mail, Yahoo Mail, and Mail.com. And of course, there are many others. Let's open a brand new account on Outlook to show you how it's done. Follow along step by step and within minutes you'll have your own email account ready to go. To begin with, in your search browser, type in Outlook Mail. Hit enter and click on the Outlook link. You'll notice here it says create free account. So click on that. Now this is where you choose what you want to name your account. In this example, I'll use Tech Savvy Scene. You have your choice of either at Outlook.com or at Hotmail.com. I have an older Hotmail account, so I'll choose that. Click Next. You can switch between one or the other by using this little drop down. Click Next. Then you have to create a password. Now, some tips on passwords. You, it should be at least eight characters long at a minimum and have a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters, a number or two, and one special character. The special characters are the hashtag, the, the dollar sign, the percent sign, the keys over the numbers on your keyboard. So I will choose my I'll type in my, my password, keeping it private. I'm going to uncheck this box because I don't want to get a lot of junk emails from Microsoft. Click Next. And they want a little bit more about you. So put your name, first and last. Click Next again. Put where you're from, United States, your date of birth. And for me, I have to scroll down. Here we go. And click Next. Now, this screen is asking you for your phone number, and that is so you can retrieve your account. So type in your number, and they'll send you a text. Click Send Code. They'll send you a text, and you enter the code here to prove that you are creating a legitimate account and not a robot. So get you, look at your phone for the text. Click Next. You, you can set up your own themes if you like. You click Custom Backgrounds here. I'll just keep it the standard blue. This is a signature. You can put that in your emails if you like. This says sent from Outlook. You can put your business name. You can have it custom. I'll put uh, my name and hashtag tech savvy senior. Click the arrow to go next. I'm not going to do any of this, but you can if you like. You can change sports. And this gives you the option of getting the Outlook app on your phone. 
I'll explain how to do that. I'm going to skip that for now. But I will explain how to do it in a different video. Keep, keep hitting the right arrows while Microsoft sets up the account. And it's done. My new email address is techsavvysenior at hotmail.com. Click Let's Go and it'll take you right to your inbox. And there you go. Now that we've gotten the email account set up, you're good to go. So what do you do next? Well, you can send a message. You click right here on new email message, click the drop down, and then you type in the address you want to send it to. I'll send one to myself. And Put in a test. Notice that you type test message. Notice that the signature came up just as I had set it up in the first place. Click send and off it goes. Now if I have my other email account open, you could see where it, that it came to me. And that's it. It's just that easy. If you like this video, or need more tips and tricks on becoming a tech savvy senior, like and comment below and share this video. Also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for new videos every week.